Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to do a quick video on wiring in a fuse cable in a spot where there's a fuse spot but no fuse. So like say right here where my thumb's at, according to the directions it says it's supposed to be a heater slash defrost, but I know the heater works in this car so it must be wired in somewhere else. So here's an open slot. And right here too was an open slot and I pulled out this connection uh, from another Galaxy. A, uh, I seen that both, because I have a 70 Galaxy, this came out of a 70 Galaxy, and also I noticed a 72 LTD had the exact, basically exact same fuse block with this extra addition. So I'm guessing if like, uh, maybe power windows or something, they could easily just slip this tab in. And uh, you see a bolt in the back right here right there they could just slip that in and then they uh, pigtail any wires they need there so it's a quick addition of a fuse but right here I wanted to show you if you wanted to put in a wire you wanted to put in a new fuse uh, connector it's meant to go right in there it just pops right in see what you got to do is to get these out is at the top and bottom of this connector you just got to go in there with a flat blade and pop out that tab, push it down, and then it'll literally push right out of the back. So right here you can see I got these out of a 65 Galaxy. So I got a few extras, I just popped them out and cut the wires. And these ones are pretty nasty, I messed up a couple when I was taking them out too. Um, but this one right here was good, and I sandblasted it real quick to clean it up. And I just pop those tabs back out on the side. And now I'll be able to push it in from the back and then just uh, wire it in for now. And honestly, I'm just hooking up an electric fuel pump right now, so I'm just gonna use that tab. But I figured while I got this fuse block apart, I might as well throw that wire in. And then uh, just, you know, heat shrink it off and it'll be ready for when I wanna use it. Now to get this apart, that's what it'll, it'll kind of look like, you know, that right there with the green part and the bolt will be right in the center where the threads come through to uh, go into the firewall. So that's where you'll initially take it off right there in the center and then the threads will pop through the back. What you have to do is there's a spring on the front and so you have to push the bolt and then you'll see once the threads pop out a little more in the back, there'll be an E-clip. So you just go ahead and take that uh, clip off. Then you'll be able to take the bolt completely out. And then once the bolt's completely out, this back green piece will separate and then you can access all the, the wires and clips really easy. All right, as you can see, I, I was able to clip it in so now it's ready. It just pushed right in. Super simple. It's not going anywhere. It's in. No, it's in really solid. And now I can just uh, run this wire up here. And what I'll do is I'll probably just put a bullet connector on it and shrink wrap it. And then whenever I want to use it, I can just easily plug a wire into it or something in the future. Because like I said, for right now, I'm just going to run my fuel pump off this one. And then... You never know. I can run another, the circuit's already ready while I have it apart for that. I just wanted to be super clear on how this is gonna come out of the fuse block. So see this tab right here, that's what's holding it in. So if you're looking at it from the straight part where it holds the fuse, you're gonna come in and you're just gonna push on the top of it and push that tab down. So you just push the tab down here go under push the tab down there I mean it's super simple you just you know go in parallel and boom push it boom push it then literally just turn the screwdriver sideways and it should push right out of the back of the fuse block and then you know when you're reinstalling it you can just come in here sorry I'm trying to do this through the camera come in here and just you know pry that up a little bit on both sides 
and then it'll be ready to pop right back in. Pop it in and it'll clip right back in place again.